Hello friends, greetings for the day. Welcome back to the tutorial on ISTQB. This is Nirsh Kumar Singh and you are watching ISTQB certification on Agile. So we are in chapter two and we are looking at the next topic of this uh, chapter is 2.1.4, testing and configuration management. Now here we are generally talking about how the testing generally uh, is being conducted, which we have seen in the previous tutorial. And uh, today we were just talking about more on the testing automation part, that what exactly automation is all about here and why do we prefer to have a lot of automation compared to manual. And there are a lot of activities so far we have seen that which can be automated in Agile. As we have a very crunch on time, so we are actually looking to automate a lot of things. So of course we just want to make sure that everything goes well and should not take much of the time while we're making sure. At the same time, when you talk about the continuous integration, of course, when you do uh, deal with uh, adding continuously something to the existing code and obviously integrating them from time to time, it's very necessary to make sure that when you test it, you make sure that the integration is also working pretty fine. So here we are also talking like the very first point will tell you here that what are the things which we can generally use to automate and everything becomes equally important when you are talking about incrementing on bits then of course the configuration management is equally important that you need to manage the version control of these entities because if it is not then of course you're going to have a lot of problem to manage them. So generally automated tests include the static analysis, unit testing, code coverage, and even talking about deployments, uh, build environment, or continuous uh, integration, which is automated. And of course, the testing team and the developers work together on this. There is there's a possibility that the developers may be creating the test for you, or maybe they will be also writing the test and in executing them. At the same time, they will be also making use of certain test harness tools or uh, to create uh, some of the uh, you know internal harnesses like you know stub and drivers generally, which are required for the time being, and so on. And another thing, when you talk about the primary goal of the team at this point of time is also to say that uh, to make sure that every time they integrate something and uh, they want to make sure that the integration is literally working fine when they deploy the environment, then it is just to make sure at the primary uh, goal as that the integration is working fine. If in case they fail to do that or it is failing, then we try to fix it and then rebuild it again. And then once rebuilt, right, we try to reinstall and make sure that it works fine. So generally, like maybe every week, uh, two times or maybe every day it can happen, maybe alternative days or maybe at the end of the iteration as well. But we just try to make it as frequent as possible because we have already learned about early and frequent feedbacks which help you a lot to get information from the client side as well and from your input as well that how exactly it is going through because you don't like surprises in agile so here what you see is we call this entire procedure of like you know creating installing failing and then trying to rebuild and reinstall continuously it goes on daily basis every time you create something new you try to integrate it uh, so we have a term here which we say that generally we use it as a primary goal of the test team is to build install fail rebuild and reinstall so this cycle continues until you find that it is perfectly working fine as for the requirement and the environment accepts it. So that's what one, one thing which is important when it comes to testing in the agile testing process. Of course, automated testing also reduces the regression risk because uh, quite often it is executed. And when you talk about regression being executed quite often, of course, a lot of things are being repeated and tested again and again, which makes sure that the integration as well as the existing thing is working literally fine. So this is what we have from this particular tutorial and that's all from here team. In case you have any query or free, free to comment below at any point of time, I'll be there to assist you and make you understand better. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding and thanks for watching the video team. Happy learning.